Only one month remains here in our final season with Befica. Yes, that's right. I said final. We're sitting in fourth. And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to place first in the league. And as it's my final season, boys, I'm not going to be returning if you don't know why. I've been kicked off the squad. Watch last episode if you're unaware of the whole situation that went down. And why am I sleeping outside? Why am I on a couch outside my apartment? Things just keep getting worse and worse, boys. I locked myself out. My phone, my wallet, my keys. Why is my life just seeming to go downhill very fast? Nothing can go right for me at the moment, boys. And a month remains. I gotta find a new club soon. And even though this is gonna be my final season, we gotta get to work. Training is crucial and the manager still seems like he's gonna be playing me in the games even though I'm gonna be leaving next season, which is a little weird, but I gotta make do with what I got, boys. I gotta find a new club next season, like I said, and we gotta show off for some of the scouts that hopefully are gonna be watching me. I know I'm a very controversial player at the moment. Will teams even want to sign me? That's the question I'm thinking to myself. I'm doing well in training though. I'm doing, hopefully I'm gonna be doing well in the games. I've been doing well in the past games, even though we're struggling here in Liga Nos. We didn't make it too far in the Champions League. The games I have been playing, I've been doing well. Here are my stats, 78 overall. 21 year old striker who can also play center forward left wing i think it's gonna be enough for at least one or two not big teams but decent sized teams to want to sign me hopefully that's what i think but it doesn't matter what i think it's about what the scouts think let's get into game number one of the episode and i just need to preface this once again these games mean nothing we can't win the liga nos what we are fighting for, I guess, is a Champions League spot. But even that, I mean, I'm not going to be here next year. Do I really care? I want to win, yes. But if we lose, it's not the end of the world. As long as I get a goal, maybe an assist, I'll be looking good. And I'll consider that a win in my book. Here we go. Game one is going to be a home game. And um, we're taking on a team who I believe sits sixth in the league. So this isn't going to be an easy game by any stretch of the imagination. And there's, yeah, another look at the table. And they do sit in six. Porto one, Braga up there. Sporting three, who are going to be taking on a little bit later in this episode. But let's get into this one. 21st minute. Can we get a goal early on already? Oh, my God. What a cross. What a pass. But my teammate couldn't finish. Should have been an easy assist. In the end, it, it uh, amounts to nothing but a goal kick right there. And... The second chance following that would be to our opposition. 26th minute, great save from our goalkeeper. And um, yeah, I gotta admit, this game was a tad bit awkward, if I'm gonna say so, because, you know, everyone knows I'm leaving the club next year. I know I'm leaving the club. The fans, the manager, my teammates. So it was a shock to see me in the starting 11. People are kind of wondering, um, if, if I'm leaving, why am I still playing? But for me, again, it's just about taking the pitch and um, kind of improving my game, showing people that I'm a player they should be signing as I'm speaking. Of course, this always happens. I start rambling about something, and then our opposition scores. Again, though, it doesn't really matter. It's all good with me. I just need to get a goal this game. And so far, it has not been working out. Nice volley right here, and the keeper, just not enough time to react. Poor defending, if I'm going to be honest. 39th minute. This could be my chance. No is saved and the rebound is missed as well. Oh my boys, we should definitely have a goal at this point. I've been putting in some good passes, some good work, and finally it pays off as we get ourselves a goal. But of course, it's offside. In the closing minutes of the first half, you're gonna get another look and it was a pretty obvious offside call. My teammate just made the run a little bit too quick and I should not have passed it. I probably should have done a fake shot or something, used a little skill. But I saw the assist. It was just a little too late. That is it for the first half. Score is 1-0. We're losing. I don't have any assists. I don't have any goals. I have been passing pretty well. My shots haven't been the greatest. 
I could have a better second half. Let's just say that. And let's see if we can do it. 50th minute right here. Cross sent in to the middle. Great header from the free kick. And um, yeah, our opposition just continues to dominate this one from the looks of things. Some great passing yet again. It's like I haven't been scoring. I haven't been assisting. But my passing in the attacking areas have just been so well. Like you would think I'm a central attacking midfielder. Or, you know, out on the left, right, mid. But no, man. I'm playing striker and my passing is definitely improved this season. Probably one of my best strong suits, I would say. Besides the scoring and attacking. And look at this, man. A miss. 88th minute. Are you kidding me? Could have been one of the last chances to score in this one. But the last chance would come in the 92nd into the 93rd minute. Look at this passing and it is about freaking time. We put it in. 1-1 in the closing minutes. We equalize. We get the goal. We've been working our butt off this game. My passing, and it was the passing as well, man. I get the pass, and my teammate plays it right back right there. That's what you like to see. Into the back of that. And great shot far post. Wow. We salvage a point. Once again, doesn't matter. We're not going to be winning the league. We do have a chance to finish in a Champions League spot, which I, I'm going to fight for, man. I hate, like, I hate not trying to win games, which is not what I'm trying to do. But, um, hey, Befica, even though they're kicking me off the team, they helped me skyrocket this career. And hopefully I'm going to be able to find a place next season to move to. That was a good showing, though. Good performance. 1-1 one, one is going to be your final score and in this final month we were on the road we were traveling around portugal a lot of away games after this and a lot of them that of course were simulated we're at these nice hotels while we're on the road and the awkwardness continues with my teammates ever since my manager decided to sell me um yeah my teammates have not been happy and more so not happy with me in it's been a weird relationship with them. On road trips, I find myself hanging by myself, not talking to my teammates, not even associating with them. Yes, in training and games, we're talking, and that that's all good because it's about the game. But personally, we have nothing to relate to, and it's been weird. If I'm going to be honest, I'm ready to leave this team. I want a fresh start. I've proven myself that I can be a top striker. Not a top striker, but... I've proven to be one of the best up and coming strikers in this league and I can make an impact somewhere else. Give me a new group of people, a new team, new tactics, and I feel confident. I can dominate this game and dominate world football. I can be the next Cristiano Ronaldo or whatever you want to call me, man. I hate associating myself with other footballers. Yes, people have called me the next Joao Felix in the past, but I'm just trying to be myself. I'm trying to be the next Rafael Ruiz because that's who I am. And this is going to be it. Befica, it's about time to say goodbye. The final game of the season is here. It is among us. And it's time to go. We are going to be starting in our last chance to make an impact. Our last chance to impress the scouts. Yes, they can watch me train. But what does that matter they want game experience i gotta add a few more goals passes to my highlight reel here we go sportsing one of the top teams in the league they're fighting for that champions league spot as well as us so a win here for both teams would be crucial in the 29th minutes how have sporting not scored yet you're gonna see these highlights and how sporting had just dominated this first half but so unlucky not to score up until the 45th minute when we went into the halftime break. What is happening, man? This is ridiculous. For us, we'll take it. But for Sportsing, I'd be a little bit upset if I were a fan of theirs because look at all those chances. Bruno Fernandez, one of the top players in Liga Nos. He's just a beast and he's got nothing to show for as well as the whole team. Nil-nil. We haven't even had a shot up until this point. And finally, our first shot of the game comes in the 53rd minute. Great volley, but it's hit straight at the keeper. 67th minute. It is sporting once again. And how have they not scored? It is a bit ridiculous. Another chance. 71st minute. And yet another miss. What is going on? So close. 
Uh, so far away, 80th minute now, Befica, we are getting close to the later stages of this game, and we pick up the assist, there it is, that might be one of our last highlights of the season, because time winding down, it's an easy pass though, I mean look at that, wide open in the middle of the box, what else am I going to do, I could have been selfish, tried to use some skill and take the shot myself, but when the assist is there, it's just easy, it's too easy, and I'm going to take that 10 times out of 10, could sports team come back? Well, you know they weren't done. And in the 85th minute, the cross, the header, was he offside? Apparently not. And that'll do it, man. Wow. We had seemingly stolen the win from sports team. And finally, they put one in the back of the net right here. Look at this. So unlucky defense. What are you doing? Our center back. You need to be clearing that. And he tried, but he was way too far off. And our keeper needs to be guarding that near post. Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just ready to leave Befica. That is going to do it, man. Final whistle blows. 2-1-1 draws in this game. And that's how I end my career with this team. I wish it could have been better. I wish the ending could have been on mutual terms. But instead, I'm having to transfer and... I, I would say if this whole ordeal didn't go down, I would love to stay another year at this club to see what I could actually do. Could I be able to take them to Champions League or glory? Could I win the league, win the League Cup, any of that? I mean, at this point, we'll never know because it is just not going to happen. But I'm excited to start my career with another team. Before we can even think about leaving, let's take a look at how some of the other competitions finished around the world. Barcelona in Lionel Messi winning the Champions League player of the Champions League is going to be Leroy Sané and he ended up losing to Barcelona in the final it was Man City there losing Frankfurt win the Europa League the player of the Europa League is going to be Marcus Rashford and then the player of Liga Nos is going to be Paulinho from Braga and here is how things finished in Liga Nos the table looks as followed Befica with a fourth place finish that is going to be enough to get them into the qualifying rounds for the Champions League. But Braga wins the league. Wow, that's a crazy finish. Shout out to them finishing one. And the bottom of the table looks as followed. Of course, no relegation because Liga Nas only has one tier in FIFA. But that's how things finished. And there's only one thing left to do, boys. It's time to end the season and say farewell to this club. Starting my morning with a nice cup of coffee and about to head off to the airport where I'm heading to Italy where I have a trial with one of the bigger teams in that country. My flight soon. I'm a little late. You see, I don't have an agent. I'm having to make these deals for myself and it hasn't been easy. I've secured my first trial. The only team that seems interested in me at the moment and things continue to go wrong. My car won't start. I try everything, man, and it just won't move. You're joking. First, at the beginning of the episode, I got locked out of my house. Later on, my teammates won't even speak to me. And now this, I decided to just run, man. I could have called a cab, but I had no cash on me, no way of getting around, and I missed the flight. And it was later that night when I arrived, the trial over, I headed to their offices but no one there the trial over and that could have been my only chance to sign with the team for next season alone in Italy what to do now I know what you're thinking why not just reschedule the trial for tomorrow speak with the club they should be able to manage it well today was an important date to make they were interested in signing one striker and they brought me and a few other players out to watch and perform on their training grounds. And I wasn't there. I couldn't make it. My name probably just scratched off some list. I wasn't till a face showed up. I had texted them and told them I'd arrive late and I apologized. And I guess they got my message as one of the assistant managers to the team showed up and he told me there's gonna be another opportunity 
The team's interested in me. They want to sign me. And they told me, Rafael Ruiz, don't you worry, son. Tomorrow is going to be your chance. Another trial. Another round. And if I perform well, a contract is going to be offered. This could be it, boys. My only chance to continue my career as no other team seem interested. Will we be able to succeed? Find out in the next episode.